Are you ready to cook? Ooh, I am so excited. I'm gonna try to make this zucchini lasagna that I found off of TikTok. You might be out there going, you know what, what's the big deal? It's the zucchini, it's a lasagna, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't cook that often. I'm on this mission to try new things. So I thought, why not pick out a recipe that I think looks super yummy and try to make it? And I'm inviting you to join me. Let's go to the store, get the ingredients, and see if I can make this zucchini lasagna. There's only one way to find out. So let's go. I decided to get this cheese also. It just seemed, the other one was very thin and I, I like a lot of cheese. So I got a little cheese with some, with some oomph to it. Okay, I got the breadcrumbs. I got Italian herb, because I thought that that would give it a little bit more of a spice, because I want it to taste, I don't know, kind of like a lasagna. So I got the Italian, the Italian ones, but I'm gonna add a little bit of Parmesan to the mixture just to kind of give it a little bit of that taste. So let's get the pan ready. I'm going to cook up the mushrooms and my green onions, and then I'm going to go from there. So let me do that, and then I'll be right back. Now I am going to make my little zucchini slices. I don't have the fancy slicer like she has. I have a regular old potato peeler, but I'm just gonna go ahead and slice up my zucchini. Then I'll make my bread crumb Parmesan mixture, and then we'll start building it. So let me get these little babies all sliced up. thin, like, like super thin. So I'm trying to figure out if I should cut them. Or should I, hmm. Maybe what I'll do is I'll do one, I don't know. I'm just gonna keep on doing what I'm doing. Hopefully that's the right thing. So let me keep slicing. peeler. This was just going to be way too thin. I thought I was going to be all tricky and do a cheese grater. <laughs> that absolutely did not work. So I just did it by hand. You know what? I did it the old-fashioned way. So now I'm going to mix my 
breadcrumbs. Let's, let's see what these smell like. Come here, Andy. They smell very <clears throat> Italian-y. And so we're gonna put them here in my little pan like that. And then let's add some Parmesan cheese. Like that. We're gonna stir it up like that. As I get it all over the front of my shirt. So let's start dipping and building. I'm gonna tell you that right now. The zucchini didn't stick to the breadcrumbs as easily as it did in her video. So I improvised and I just sprayed a little avocado oil on it just to kind of give it something to stick to. Um, yeah, you know what? I think it's kind of, it's really actually kind of cool. It smells great. I mean, the sauteed mushrooms and the spinach and everything is like, ee! So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in the air fryer for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I'm gonna come back and I am going to taste it. And we're gonna see, one, does it taste good? And two, did I cook it right? And three, um, I don't know. We'll think of something. We'll think of number three when we come back. So I ended up cutting off the little excess of the baking paper that I put on there. And then I made for the leftover zucchinis that I didn't add to it. I'm actually air frying those with Parmesan cheese just so nothing goes to waste. So here's what I'm cooking for the next 30 minutes. Okay, it's almost ready. It has like 13 seconds. And I'm like, oh, I'm so hungry, I'm so hungry. So what I did is I Googled what temperature should you air fry zucchini lasagna? Because I had it like at 450 degrees because she didn't have that information on that little TikTok. I turned it down to 360 and I cooked it for the 30 minutes. The timer just went off, so let's see what it looks like. Yes, let's see, we're walking over here. Let's see what it looks like. Eee! 
I've been eating my little zucchini chips. These are the little ones that I put in just with some Parmesan because I didn't want to waste it. So let's get this out of the pan. Mm. Well, it's definitely not crispy like hers, but again, it smells amazing. I don't know, maybe I put too much cheese in it, but let's taste it and see what it tastes like. It's hot. It's definitely good. It's definitely cheesy. Like I said, I think I went a little overboard on the cheese. Maybe if I didn't put so much cheese in it, it would have been crispier. But, I mean, it's a great taste. Definitely not dietetic with all that cheese in it. And it would also be good with like, if you had like a little marinara sauce, I think that that would be really yummy. So I am gonna pick through the cheese a little bit and I am gonna eat my little zucchini lasagna. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe. I will be doing this more and more. And as I learn to cook, I am going to bring you along on my journey. So until next time, remember, be bright, be bold, be brave. Don't go crazy on the cheese. And I will see you on the next episode. Bye. Mm. It is really good.